I must confess that I revisit the first alien on my flight here and not only me got scared and the man sit next to me over the aisle got scared by me too <laughs> and last night I saw the this one for the second second time I still like this and what's your trick to scare people in a time that it's not that easy to scare people no it's not easy to scare people is it because I think we're brought up on so much violence both in uh, cinema, but also in, in news, in real life, is is shocking. Um, so it's much more primordial. You've got to look back into what scares me the most. Deep down, it's an emotional thing, where it begins with the heart beat. Where you feel uneasy, then there's this unease that evolves into fear. You may not see anything, but you sense it. That's that's hard to do. So the answer is, I really don't know. I just do it. <laughs> What happened here? I saw the original alien when I was 10 years old. That traumatized me. What was the first ever question you asked really about this film? Um. Do I get killed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first question was, can I have this part? Uh, the second question was, can we make sure that this character isn't one dimensional? Can we make sure that he is a, um, someone that the audience feels compassion for, um, even when he's making the wrong decisions, or even when he is guided by some kind of, you know, stalwart um, um, zealotry. Uh, we want to believe that he's got a good heart. Like, that's what I said. So, Ridley, do you think we can do that? And he was like, yeah, I think we can do that. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Do you really get paid double? Yes. Really? Pretty much. <laughs> and what was the most frequent question you ever ask Ridley on set? How am I going to get paid double for this? <laughs> <laughs> and please say yeah. <laughs> no, I, you know, I think just uh, constantly sort of, you know, sitting uh, in the tent or, you know, watching setups or where he puts the cameras or how he, um, you know why he would do a scene a certain way or how he prepares something you know all the time trying to uh, get information from him but it was it was very fun to play that stuff you know there's this sense that something's nearby but you can't see it and it could jump out at any time and you don't know where and where it is and really fun to work with the brilliant um, choreographers and uh, and stunt men and um, guys working the props with aliens and everything, it, it's great to have those visuals in front of you rather than doing things against the green screen, but um, yeah, I, I was chased a few times, that was pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Chased by who? By an alien. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in a big, a heavy spacesuit, so it was hard to move quickly, and mm -hmm. that was really visceral for me, like, and to feel that I'm trying to get away and I can't get away quickly. That was kind of, that got my heart rate going. Yeah. I didn't get scared by him. Uh, that, I think, happened more to um, Danny, because Danny is a very sensitive flower, um, and uh, he's easily, he's easily frightened. You'll see if you talk to him. He's, he's sheepish and uh, always worried. But other than that, no, I was totally strong, never scared of anything. So did you scare about the, the monster or? Nah, it was not a big deal to me, but Danny was crying like a little, <laughs> Schoolboy, um, yeah, and Michael too. Michael was in tears most of the time, but not me. No, I felt strong and capable and in charge. Don't listen to Billy. He's uh, he suffers from um, short memory. Yeah, that um, uh, because he's constantly drunk. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, uh, and he's uh, you know, yeah, he just likes to lie. Mm -hmm. so but I was crying a lot. It's true. I get wow. quite emotional because Billy's a bully. If you want to know the truth. <laughs> what was the most difficult part to act with yourself? You know, I guess it's, it's a little sort of lonely in some respects, but to be honest with you, I had such a good um, uh, guy that was playing the other parts with me, Tom O'Sullivan, and he was sort of opposite me. So when I was playing Walter, he was David, and vice versa. When I was Walter, he played David, and uh, um, it was... Uh, it was great because he really 
took on the physicality and the mannerisms and the attitudes of the character. So he was a great help for me. He helps a lot, especially you need to look like you really touch yourself, right? That's right. Whereas really I was touching Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. This role you kind of emotional restrict and did you need to stare in character between takes or you just need to relax and have fun? Exactly. Relax and have fun. That's kind of the, the sort of the way that I would approach it most times. To be relaxed is key, I always think. Um, and if you're having fun, that's, you know, I love that, you know, whether you have a set where just, you know, people are, are you know, making each other laugh, it's, a, it's just a nicer sort of working environment. So yeah, we had both of those in this, it was a lot of fun filming it. One of my favorite things that happened was, um, I was in a big scene and it was a big wide shot and there was like dust and everything was getting in our eyes and just, you know, it was just very chaotic. There were, they had massive fans blowing all this dirt on us. I mean, we were running as fast as we could. Lots of gear and everything. And um, because my character cares so much about Walter, um, uh, one of the two synthetics that uh, Michael Fassbender plays, I just went to see if I could see him through, you know, just to check if, that he was with us. And I looked to my left, and in the distance, I just saw him sprinting but he'd made up a, a robot run and I'd never seen it before and it was like these perfect 90 degree angles, high knee kicks and I nearly broke, I nearly burst into laughter, you know, because it was this intense moment and I look over and he's just doing these very <laughs> sharp movements and it was so brilliant and um, yeah, so uh, all, he, he did a lot of really fun surprising things on set that were really great to witness. And... On set I'm usually pretty funny actually and the set usually is kind of pretty great fun. But all these actors are so professional, we all know exactly what we're doing. And I think it's, uh, it's really about talent, you know? Because you can have someone laughing and joking before a take. There's no need of this prep in the corner saying your mother's just died and your cat's dying and all that stuff. We don't do that. Uh, and they'll say, ready, and they go, ready, and they come on, they just go, do it. It's really about the talent. So I, I take a long, I, I'm very careful about who I cast and why. Take on quick as I can. Are they? Yeah. Well, Ridley has what I would say is one of the most extensive vocabularies for cinema. That is to say, he understands the way not just story structure works, but not, and not just character development, but the way that you light something properly, the way that you use music to build uh, build tension and when you have that kind of resource your days are, are very efficient so he knows I need this I need this I need this this is where we'll use this that's not important I'll never see that and that gives you a tremendous amount of confidence as an actor about where you can plug in the most important parts of your character it came out of frustration that no one had asked the four key questions what was that ship why was it there who was the space jockey eggs in the, were a cargo. So what was this, a battleship? And what was the creature? So that's six question, never asked the question. So I came back thinking, I'm gonna come at this from a different direction and I can resurrect the whole idea. He's beautiful. Mm, yes, definitely. <laughs> and were you like a tech captain or a leader on set as, as well? Uh, no, no, uh, that's Ridley. Ridley was the captain and leader uh, for sure. He, he's somebody that you, he, he has an infectious personality, you know. Um, he's charming and uh, full of energy and good humor. And um, also, his work ethic is, um, is top of the line. So you feel inspired to work at the level that he's working at. So you follow him for sure. It was amazing. The whole cast saw the bay together um, for the first time and we were all just like eyes were darting around the room like can you believe this can you believe this and everybody was so excited and um, yeah it's so surreal because we know these environments very well we all we're all fans of the other films so it's really um, 
extraordinary to then find yourself in in that world that you you're so familiar with, you know. Oh, oh, that um, that Ridley and his team are so capable of creating an entire world that is thoroughly thought through and uh, built with expert craftsmanship. Um, it just it makes you so grateful to be a part of people with that kind of ingenuity and ambition and you want to just make sure to live up to it. I think you've seen a lot of that. Yeah. I didn't start in the beginning. I started in the middle because when, when I'm preparing, they usually want to know the most important, the big sequences first to get uh, that to digital effects company so they can look at boards and see the intention or to digital animation because once I draw then digital animation will take it over. I think it was the platform sequence where she is on that platform and the aliens on the platform. Mm -hmm. I began there. So I was like three quarters into the movie but I just started there because by drawing it you, each scene is somehow separate from the rest. There's no connection so I'm able to just do them individually without even connecting. So you think about the action scene first or? No, yeah, mostly they do all the action scene first because they're going to be probably the most expensive and probably require the most digital help. So the sooner you get that in the better because digital work can take months. It's so weird, but it's all so much fun that even if something's like hard, it's a good kind of hard. Um, certainly on the deck and everything, I got bruises all over my body and I was being banged around a lot, but that was so much fun. I mean, it's like getting to be a grown-up in, in the, at the playground, you know? I mean, it's all, it's it, that stuff's really fun to do. Um, and that was new to me, the really physical stuff. I didn't know I was going to enjoy that so much. Um, but even like the very sort of intimate moments and the emotional stuff is also, it's a challenge, but, um, but really gratifying and fun to do too. I mean, the whole thing was really fun to do.